We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Cocktails with Tosh Walker in five, five, four, 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 three, 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 two, two, one, one. You're listening to Cocktails with Tosh Walker. Stick around. This is for you. Yeah, yeah. I hope Torrance Muhammad is listening to this. You know, he's been ignoring my calls all day. I'm like, are you doing a show? Are you doing a show, dearie? I can't help it if you get smashed, crashed, because your Miami went down. So I'm going to tell you guys right now, that was one of the best days of the year <laughs> so far. I have to say, um, I want Miami to lose all the time. I don't know what's going down, but if this keeps up, it's going to be a best summer that I've ever had because Miami's going to lose. So I don't want to be a hater, but, you know, LeBron has been under a lot of criticism, you guys. This is terrible, but, you know, I don't care as long as it ain't COVID. But, um, yeah, LeBron's been under a lot of criticism. I feel sorry for the boy. But, you know, what can you do? And now the criticism about LeBron is this. Look, guys, they're saying either play like Magic Johnson or Michael Jordan. So I'm like. 
damn, what a hell of a compliment, LeBron. <laughs> For real. Yeah, yeah. what kind of pro- that's not a problem. That's my boy Van on the mic. Mike, Mike, Van, Van. Yes, 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 yes. Behind the scenes, you know, doing the producing stuff here. You know, somebody got to do it. I ain't got time to be doing all that, y'all. But anyways, um, which way should he play? Michael Jordan? Or should he go ahead and play Magic Johnson style? What do you do? Well, um, my opinion is he should just play who he is. Um, but he needs to know how to use his other players to their potential. To he tried the- that. He tried that last game. What happened? They lost. Well, that's Bill. Well, um, Should he just take over? I mean, take over well, at the end uh, like a Jordan would do. Well, then, yeah, that, yeah, that he needs to do. He needs to step up. But um, in the fourth quarter, that's mm-hmm. where people of his supposed to be caliber, his level, mm-hmm. is supposed to take the game into his own hands. Because at the end of the day, whether they win or lose, they're gonna come to him and say the reason why you y'all lost is because of you. Because right. You didn't do. The things you were supposed to do. Well, we got right into it. Welcome to Cocktails with Tosh Walker. I'm Tosh Walker, the Entertainment Lifestyle Sports Show. And that's how we do it. We just go hard in. I was just happy. I'm, you know, I've been celebrating. I couldn't wait. I was like, well, I can't wait to say my Miami loss. Because what the difference is, I know Miami lost in the first um, round. Not the first round, but when they played Indiana, they lost the first game of the series. Indiana and San Antonio Spurs are night and day teams. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, you're talking about a team in San Antonio that um, knows their lanes, mm-hmm. and they know um, even when they have a bad game, um, they know what they need to do to get back on the level of, of, of winning and, and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, the X factor. Popovich, and that's what we're going to talk about, the importance, too, today of coaches. Um, to me, I think the importance of a coach sometimes get overseen, overshadowed a little bit. Um, you know, Michael Jordan didn't win until Phil Jackson. Exactly. You know, yep. um, a lot of people haven't won until that match came together. And not only, uh, and speaking of Michael Jordan, because I am a Michael Jordan fan, he not only did he, he did not win until Phil got there, but you got to remember, it was all about Magic and Bird. Right. And then, you know, you did have the bad boys. You had Detroit Pistons who had the bad boys. And sometimes that was uh, Achilles heel for Michael Jordan to get to the next level. So, you know, um, it didn't hurt for having Phil with him. (laughs) No, because Phil knows how to put you in your right lane like Popovich, and then feel no strategy when he sees another team is changing something. Now they're trying to double team you. Now let me move you over here and let me do this. And then when they do that, you run through the middle and you're open. See, that's what you got to be able to do that on the fly. And that's, to me, what hurt the Lakers this year. It seems like both Mike, Mike's, both Mike's, Mike Brown, Mike D'Antoni, I don't care, Mike's, didn't know how to coach on the fly. They knew what they practiced, but when you you might practice something, but you might have to change up, and you have to know your personnel. And exactly, exactly, and that's what Miami's problem too, I believe, because of the personnel. They don't know their roles. They're not feeling good in their roles. Oh, oh, we have a phone call. Oh, we got a phone call. Um, yeah, let's see who that is. All right, caller, caller. What's your name and where you calling from? There go ahead. Caller, caller, what's your name and where you calling from, caller? Uh, Los Angeles. All right, caller, we were just, did you get the chance to uh, catch that game? Miami and the Spurs the other night. Uh, No, I didn't. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Because I want to ask you this question. What do you feel and how do you feel? What is the importance of a, a great coach? And this could be... In any, you know, from uh, Pee Wee, Pop Warner, all the way to, you know, the professionals. How do you feel? What's the percentage and say, the importance of a great coach? Uh, if, if the person is doing his job, I make a good coach. <laughs> well, yeah, you're saying in general, but do you think, you know, Having a great coach is just important and having, you know, maybe two superstars. Maybe you have one superstar and then you have a great coach. I mean, what do you think? Mm, I think you have a, a good coach here. Yeah, you, you think that. You have a good player. Right, a good coach and a good player instead of saying two good players without a great coach. 
Right. I, yeah. yeah, that's like cancel each other's out. So yeah, mm-hmm. you got to have a combination uh, uh, of the two at all. Yeah, caller, thank you so much. That is so right. I love that because you know that it just makes it all work. I think LeBron and I like the coach there, but I think that that he's gonna need a superstar coach to coach this superstar and to take him to the next level to where he's going to be able to be that multi winner of rings like Michael Jordan and, uh, uh, per se a Kobe Bryant. So I, you know, Hey, you know, Magic Johnson knows he's had the best, you know, he's had Pat Riley yes. and it's on and popping, but anyways, let's, uh, you know, we're going to go, we got this cocktail menu coming up. We're going to talk about poor a rod, you know, stop, stop all that stuff. You know, I got Rodney in the house, you know, from Long Beach University, baby. He's doing big things. We're going to talk about that. And, um, you know, if I have any news on the Lakers, I've been looking, child. I don't know what's going on. Lakers, is, it's just so much controversy that, you know, I guess no news is good news. Okay. And um, we're going to talk some more about the Indiana Pacers. We got Benji coming up, you guys. He's going to talk about last game and then kind of give us a pre about tomorrow's game if you don't know what's cracking. And also... um. We're going to find out what's going on with hockey. L.A., you know, if you're listening to L.A., we're in it. It's looking grim, but we're in it. But (laughs) stay tuned. We'll be right back with Cocktails with Tosh Walker. This uh, This is the show, baby. Stay tuned. I'll be right here. Walker, and I want you to join me every Saturday evening from 5 to 8 p.m. for Cocktails with Tosh Walker, where each week is going to be a big party. Why? Come celebrate with me for the very first lifestyle entertainment sports show. And on my cocktail menu, I have special celebrity guests stopping through, and you never know who might come through, boo. It just might be one of your favorite sports celebrities. From Cocktails with Tosh Walker, the entertainment lifestyle sports show. Right here every Saturday night where we're more than just talk. We're Cocktails with Tosh Walker. On latalklive.com. Mm-hmm. What's going on? It's your man, Melo D, inviting you to join me every Thursday at 2 p.m. for my new show, Dane's World. Join us for new hip-hop, rap, as well as upcoming artists. So 
don't forget to tune in to Dane's World exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio, R&B, or watch us on Ustream.tv. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, where we are more than just talk. Hello, I'm Joel Ramirez. And I'm Lolita Robinson Coppage, and welcome to Joy in My House on LATalkLive.com. Inspirational radio with a touch of recovery. A reality show where nothing is left unsaid and no one is insignificant who says it. Exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio RB or watch us on Ustream TV. Reality Radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live and we are more than just talk. Hi, this is Julie Orlov inviting you to join us every Friday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for our all-new show, Pathways to Love. Join us as we talk about love and relationships and how you can create the relationships you desire. So don't forget to tune in to Pathways to Love every Friday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio R&B, Live 365, Radio Flag, and now Stitcher Radio, or watch and listen directly at LATalkLive.com. Reality Radio, handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live, and we are more than just talk. With young free, and I got what it takes to rock, rock, rock the mic. Rock the mic. Still watch what you say. I'll show you know, so know, 50 know. shots. Still put her to go. I'm a school hood when I'm traveling. Get neck when I'm traveling. Six pack wood when I'm traveling. Uh, fuck a lex, cause the click fit good in a caravan. Slide through your hood like an avalanche. Take a flick if you get a chance. Get that close. Fuck in the van, cause I get that dough. Be with me. Enemies come sleep with me for breakfast. Guaranteed to eat this toast. I'm reckless. Fire Start a heat your folks and start my artists that eat your tracks. So don't bring them around. I be around Regans, Vida Loca. They got all the toasters. Don't need no gas. I got a six stash. Leave them around so I don't get left around. Hangers around when I leave. And a winner rock short sleeves. Reason a pound with the heat blasting. Heat blasting. Set no marine shining. Marine fashion. Backing them down. Niggas going keep hating. And my click going keep grinding. Keep moving. Locking the town. Oh, the Freeway in a place to be seen, and I got what it takes to rock the mic like this. Still watch what you say to me, cause I got what it takes to rock the mic like this. It's BC in a place with Young Free, and I got what it takes to rock the mic right yeah. Still watch what you say, I feel mouth good, 50 shots still will turn the club out. It's Matt, Daddy, Young Strapper. Y'all know what time it is. Darlings, hello, darlings, hello, darlings. Okay, listen, darlings. I, you know, um, I'm gonna just have to plug, you know, Ross and Marshalls. Actually, I got this at Ross. It's a set. It's a cocktail set, and you guys, it comes with drinks already. You know, with the ingredients and what you need to put it in and the measurements and everything per ounce, four ounces, all the way up. It's so jamming, so it has different ones. So I used the Cosmopolitan today. So I made a Cosmopolitan, and it told me to use one ounce of vodka, which I used that Grey Goose, baby. <laughs> oh, that's what the name of a Cos- the Cosmo? Cosmo. Cosmopolitan, yeah, yeah the Cos- Cosmo. You, yeah, yeah. you don't even drink now. No, try no, to all no, slang it, the Cosmo. No, no reason why I said that because mm-hmm. back at the crib, I used to hang out at a club named the Cosmopolitan. What, what yeah. was that, 1972? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you got jokes. <laughs> okay, well, what, Philly. That was in Philly, though, right? Yeah, yeah Okay, yeah, I know yeah. Philly probably had some real rocking nightclubs back then. 
Yeah. Okay, so we got to use the one ounce of vodka Grey Goose I use. I will use one ounce of triple sec, one ounce of lime juice, one ounce of cranberry juice, and then I stirred it lightly. I think it's very delicious to me, and I like it. It's my version, and I don't care what nobody say. Bam, boom. You know what? Because I went to, because um, people was like, where do you get the triple sec? Where do you get the, um, you know, all these little things and stuff? You can go to, Smart Final has it. Actually, the Smart and Final and Century and Crenshaw. They have everything that you need right there. You know, people like Smart and Final, they're really doing something different. My Smart and Final closer to me is the Bumbizi. I love them. I love them. Okay, let me tell you about some celebrities' um, birthdays today. I love it. You guys are going to be like, what the hell? Because, you know, I, I'm... I, I'm just going to let you know. I know I hate to talk about politics, but, you know, I went hard for Obama. So I'm an Obama fan, and when people don't like Obama, I don't like you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's wrong. Um, but it's kind of true a little bit, but it's wrong. Don't do that. Don't don't let politics be between you and a friend. Uh, today is Kanye's birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Kanye. Um, Joan Rivers, I love her. And also today is Kenan Ivy Wayne's birthday. Love my Kenan. I, do, Kenan. I love you, Kenan, because you really, you know, started a lot of things. You know, look at Jennifer Lopez from being a hip hop girl. So jamming. I love it. Who would have known? Um, also, you know, I like to talk about my African-American inventors and inventions. And I know that was kind of weird when I was talking about Obama and I really didn't wrap it all together. But of course, you know, my boy Kanye West didn't go for Obama. He went for Mitt Romney because he was going for the money thing. Um, it was, you know, kind of just telling everybody that, um, you know, he's for the rich. And so the rich went with, I guess, some of them, not everybody. But Kanye, I'm, just, I'm getting soft on you a little bit. But God, you know, you really took me for a loop on that one. Um, okay, African-American inventors and inventions. I got to just tell you guys some great, great, great things. Um, did you guys know that... The next time you need change from a laundromat, you can thank James Brewer, who invented the coin chain changer. Yes, he did, honey. He did? He sure did. Wow. I don't know what you're talking about. See? But um, you use that for everything. I mean, come on. Also, on October 25th, 1892, L.F. Brown helped, uh, what is it called, equestrians by inventing the horse bridle bite. The who? Mm. The horse what? I bridle? guess that that thing oh, yeah, 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 they yeah, bite yeah, on, yeah, 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 the yeah, bridal yeah. thingy. Yeah. That's very interesting because, I mean, somebody has to sit around and think of that. I guess he was, like, out there washing them. You know, back in those days, we were probably just out there giving them hay and cleaning up the boo-boo and, like, let's help the poor horses. That was, <laughs> that's, that's sad. Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's the truth, Roof. Um, also, you guys, I have to talk about this. Roy Jones. They're saying Roy Jones is like, he's 44 year, years old, you guys. You know Roy Jones, champion. Um, he's supposed to be fighting UFC. And I don't know if I want him to fight UFC. I hope he got his legs together because this could be a little scary for Roy Jones. What do you think? He's supposed to be fighting Silva. And I, Silva's not Anderson Silva, the champion, you guys. Come on. Now, Roy, you're really, really putting yourself out there. So, um, I don't know if he should do that. What do you think about that? Roy Jones going UFC? Nah, yeah, he's forty-four. Yeah. Well, you know, he trying to he trying to um, were well, you trying to follow in um, Bernard Hopkins? Uh, did Bernard do UFC yet? No, he didn't do that. But I'm just saying. He's oh, just for, keeping 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 the hope alive. Yeah, keep like hope that. alive. Yeah. You know, at, at the age where. That type type of sports, well, sports is for a young young man anyway, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and um, mm -hmm. just gotta face it. You know, poor choices um, during your career causes these athletes to have to risk their their health and their lives right. by getting out there and doing these things. And well, you know, I was just reading right here where it says that um, you know that is kind of wishful thinking for him. He should probably fight someone like Danny White who maybe a less of a you know he's not the champ and maybe he could you know be more of a fair fight i like to say not that he, you know he could <laughs> yeah, exactly and you know uh, fight somebody you can win baby yeah and, yeah not only that uh, uh some uh, a person that um when you got to do it for real and not just sparring with somebody yeah you know you know how it is because it's a lot different 
um, when you're doing, you facing somebody for real, and there's no no practice or no you know workout. Right. So. You're just like, you know, you you know you're fast. You think you're fast, but when one punch hits you, I think that'll slow you down. Like you know, you don't know how that punch is going to affect you. And I think that that fighting is scary. I just I would never want my son to be a boxer because it would be hard for me to sit there and watch him beat someone and then or either get beat up anyway exactly hey it's hot like fire time we got a little hot like fire going down right now i believe so i'm feeling like a little sun something something bring the temperature down it's hot like fire uh-huh i've been to my desire it's hot like fire, y'all. I told you about somebody special. And I want to bring them on, Mr. Rodney in the house. Rodney, what's up, big baby? I can't hear Rodney. Get Rodney on. Oh, no. Now, somebody getting fired now. I got to do my whole little intro over. What happened to Rodney? Rodney, you there? There we go. There we go. Damn, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, baby? How you doing? I'm fine, and you? Glad to be here. Glad Good, to be here. Rodney. Thank you for having me on. Okay, Rodney, you guys, is from Long Beach University. He's actually my new intern, and not only is he a new intern, honey, you're going to be listening to him on some kind of sports something, because Rodney, tell him. Tell him what you do. Tell him. Uh, well, I'm at um, Long Beach City College. I'm at the radio television program, and I'll be this fall doing the um, commentary for the football game. So I'm excited about that. Awesome. Awesome. So listen, if you had to pick one person um, that that is in the profession that really inspired you, who would that be? Um, As far as, you know, if I were to pick one person, Chick Hearn. I was going to kick Hearn. your butt. I had my <laughs> shoe Hearn. ready. I was like, get that shoe right uh, here. Chick Hearn and I love Ralph Lawler, too, as well. Okay. So, yeah, awesome. Definitely. Awesome. Did you, was that something that you thought you would be doing or, you know, announcing like that or what? Actually, not in the, not in the initial, not in, not in the initial. Actually, I come from more of a corporate background, um, but I love sports. So I decided to just go with what I love and. Um, I always listen to the guys on TV talk mm-hmm. and I love like, like all the catchphrases, you know, I'm a huge fan yeah. of, you know, how they call the sports. So yeah, I just decided to just, so what's the major, around. what's the major called? Um, well right now I'm in majoring in journalism and I'm in the radio television program at Long Beach city college. Okay. Um, but you could, you could range, it, there's a different, you know, range of um of degrees you can go with that route. You know, yeah, broadcasting, that's journalism, right. you know, so definitely. So what made you say this is it? I really want to do it now. I mean, well, um, basically, I just kind of, I just decided to just, you know, go with what I love versus, you know, what I'm used to. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love sports. I can wake up and I, I, I unconsciously go in and look at stats like I'm just all in. It's just something that I just love to do. Mm-hmm. So it's like, why not get paid to do it? You know, so awesome. Awesome. Yep. OK, you got some things to talk about. We're going to take a commercial break when we come back. Rodney got some things we're going to talk about. We're going to discuss some things that I was telling you about. Chad, I'm steroid problems. It's mm-hmm. a, again, I, I don't know what's going on, but you're going to find out who late lately the latest person who's in trouble with this new um, development. So stay tuned. I got my boy Benji coming up as well. We're going to talk some Miami, Indiana Pacers coming up. It's all popping here on Cocktails with Tosh Walker, the entertainment lifestyle sports show. So stay tuned. Just stay with me. Hang in there. survive the worst but my life is glorious Whoa. but i know that i leave that be hurdle and i'm so victorious Whoa. take a look i'm a symbol of greatness not calling nigga morpheus yeah. as for securing the win but to believe i'm so notorious yeah. you know that i've been by my bread even though we rapping now and we used to live on the strip even though a nigga higher level trapping now oh. i superseded every one of my little struggles and but your has never ever been an option Trust. a nigga paper long like watch our traffic and i'm about to take a hood oh. shop and get it together we made it Yeah, 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 yeah. When it all got started, we 
was steadily just getting rejected And it seemed like nothing we could do would ever get us respected At best we was stressed at the worst they probably said were pathetic Had all the pieces to that puzzle, just no way to connect it I was fighting through every rhyme, tightening up every line Never resting the question if I was out of my mind It finally came time to do it or let it die So we put the chips on the table and told them to let it ride Sing it, yeah! Together we made it See, we did it, niggas We made it even though we had our backs up against the wall Come on Forever we waited And they told us we were never gonna get it But we took it on the road On the road On the road In the projects to this thing and it's tremendous On the road Ride with me On the road We come and get it On the road Yeah, yeah, yeah Look in case you misunderstand exactly what I'm building, the shit that I can leave for my children's children. Children's. children. Now, home, I wake up, I smile to see how far I've come. Yeah. Fighting for sales on a strip to a gate to hustle from. Yeah. From nights in jail on a bitch, using my muscle, son. Yeah. To counting money like Dre and Jimmy and Russell. Yeah, yeah. But now I live when I dream. You see, we finally did it. Oh. Let's make a toast to the hustle, regardless how you get it. Sing it. Together we made it. Walker, how that so? It reminds me of um, <laughs> boomerang or something like <laughs> uh, coming to America, all corny. <laughs> no, I love those days though, baby. Those are the best days of my life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, it's sports talk. You know, hey, hey, you know, I got you over there, Ronnie. You still here? You still here with me? Still here. Still all right, here. baby. Don't be all disappearing now. Don't disappear. <laughs> but I want to talk about this. How you? You know, did you guys hear? That Jay Z has just signed my boy Kevin Durant to do his branding. I told you that's yeah, what that was. Yeah. That was his. That was his plan, right? <laughs> just to be that sports agent so he can get man, that money. Man. Cause you know that endorsement money is where. It's <laughs> now you know Oklahoma right. should be shaking because what are they gonna tell him? You need to go to L. A. You need to go to a bigger market. That's where we can do the best branding. I mean, if I was a branding company, I'd be like, mm, this market too mm, so small here, baby. <laughs> you want to go to a big market in New York, L.A. Yeah. You know, yeah uh, hello, yeah, Booby. Yeah, come yeah. on. Let's get out the smart mar- small market right now. You know, exactly. let, let Westbrook have this team. Let's go. Bye. Yeah. See ya. Then what do you don't think? Take, don't take it personal. This is business. Rodney, what do you think? Yeah, come on now. Uh, you, he, you he's already sports. signed up for a few years, so that. You know, you're waiting for, you're looking at a few years. For a that. few years? Two oh, yeah, years, that's nothing. A, two years, Durant. No, no, I said a few. He signed that, Um, he signed, he signed for a good four. No, Durant signed Thunder through 15 to 16. So okay, so that's. After 16. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's during the Olympic is, times. Yeah. We, we're ready to grab you, baby. <laughs> that, that's, that's true. That's for real. Come to L.A. We that's love you. To a bigger market. You know, he didn't. He doesn't need an agent at this point. So that's, uh, that's why he got rid of him. <laughs> right. 
Doesn't need an agent. I got Jay Z. Right. Yeah. And now Jay Z, of course, is going to try to tell him to go to Brooklyn, even though he's not affiliated with Brooklyn anymore because he had to sell that. Yeah. I, um. When you're an agent, you can't be Asian in. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Conflict but and, and, why wouldn't you say go to Brooklyn and then next thing you know, when you blow him up and the team gets better, you go, I'm ready to buy back into my Brooklyn. You know I what I mean? Right, like, right, I don't know. Right. That, so? No, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. How? Why would you build a team? And then this don't do don't come back. No, him and the owner yeah, probably exactly. has an agreement. Look, when I I'm gonna do this sports thing, and I'm gonna help you get yeah. some people. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna start exactly. these young babies, and I'll get these young babies, and I'll help them come here for you. Okay. Yeah, and and then when I'm ready, powerful. I want part of the team back mm-hmm. again, and I'm gonna sit pretty, baby, and I'm gonna <laughs> sit back. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big bidding war around the who, contract time. They're hey. already making moves for LeBron, though, 2014. You never know, because if this heat do- thing don't work out, you guys might be looking at something else. <laughs> it's going to blow than, up. Sooner Boom. than uh, the you dr- think. The, the wish list is, is LeBron yeah. and, and Kevin Durant. No, LeBron <laughs> and first. Kobe Bryant. Well, you know, Kobe's going to leave. Kobe first. Or Kobe the, first. Kobe got another. LeBron is, you know, 2014. He could easily hand the torch, you know, right there. Okay. Uh, so. LeBron and Kobe Bryant are LeBron and Chris Paul. Either or. I take that. I take that all day. Cause you need, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what he. That's, I take I, that. I, I, I think I take that's what do, um, you know. Miami is lacking a real strong guard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You can't win a championship without a point guard. Like, it doesn't even make sense. It's not like, going to happen these uh, days. Look uh, at Tony Parker. Exactly. Exactly. That boy is playing. Yep. That's why I picked this. He single handedly mm-hmm. almost won that game. For them, you you can almost say like, baby, that voice is MVP. He's, bad. He's MVP. See, you know, the Pacers guards, they're backups. Yeah. George Hill was the Spurs backup point guard. Right. You know, right. So, right. No, yeah, Danny they're Granger. They're a different animal with Parker, Ginobili. It's different. All those shooters. Yeah. That's Yo, what I said. You know, them trouble. losing this first game is not like, well, we lost the first game with any. It's so right. much different, baby. Right. You're down. One game against a beast. Exactly. And then the finals format is two games, and then you got to play three in San Antonio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got I got Spurs in five. <laughs> Just on that. I'm sorry. I, I got yeah, them, too. Yeah. Now, you know who's a beast? We're talking about beast. She got a beast body, too, honey. That's why I be at the gym. I'm like, I got to have that body like Serena Williams. Oh, God. Yeah, um, yeah, she kicked off. ass. Yes, she did. Yeah. Yes, she did. Yeah. I woke up. Um, I couldn't yeah. even watch it. I was like, I thought she was playing. Right. They was like, girl, she had whooped ass and gone off. <laughs> like, yeah, she wow. was not playing. She knocked <laughs> yeah. that out real, real fast. fast. She was not yeah. playing. It was a wrap. Damn. Because yeah, I was watching it on, uh, on uh, <laughs> at home before I left, and mm-hmm. they was talking about, you know, well, uh, when she win, um, we're going to go straight to her and all that. If she had already won. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. like, what the hell? She it's was like, like no low. competition yeah. for yeah. her. It seems like yeah. that's beast, honey. That's just like I'm coming out, honey, and I'm just gonna swang it, boo. Yeah. Well, they, they they said as long as she keeps from uh, uh, injuring herself. Yeah. Sky's ain't nobody, on. yeah, nobody gonna stop her. Not this year. Damn. You know what I mean? She's already what number one seed in um in yeah, Wilmington easily, now. Easily, and this is this one marks her. You know, she's won them all at least twice. Now. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. yeah, she's only two yeah. down from, um, I can't even pronounce her name. That yeah, Russian yeah, chick. I know you're talking about it. Yeah, that Russian chick or something like that. They're, they're already check, putting they're her check. up there with the greatest. Yeah, because she got six. Well, she got Steffi Groff? That was no, my great. No, no, she's up there. I think Steffi got 18, and uh, there's another person that has 18. Uh, Marta Talova? Yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. Martina. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she yeah. has 18. Navitalova or something? Yeah, she has mm-hmm. 18. Serena has 16. So, you know, um, somebody got like 24. Wow. She's, and she's still at, you know, peak. Like, she's not oh, yeah, going yeah, anywhere. Yeah, 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 she's not yeah, going yeah, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. She's not going anywhere. Now, you know what? This is a sad story. What's going on with my Alex Rodriguez? What happened, baby? What what, what yeah, people want to keep... Tell, what's going on? Tell, uh, really start the story from the beginning. Like, what what's going down? Well, you know, Anthony Bosch, you know, he's the biogenesis uh, drug clinic founder. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, um, he's basically going to talk to the MLB about the, uh, the PED sales, you know, to these players. You know, basically... Um, you know, MLB was suing, you know, his clinic and he asked A-Rod for some help in the form of a few hundred thousand dollars. Pretty much A-Rod pretty much said no. So now he's he's about to go sing. He's going to yeah. sing, sing to the, um, wow. to the MLB. 
and tell them everything. And with that agreement, MLB is gonna, you know, the ha- drop all the charges pretty much. So damn so if you do, be, exactly. And damn if you don't, because if he was to give money for the PED, then they could trace that. Exactly. Then if it you don't, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah, would probably so been well. in deeper, he deeper need trouble. He'd a few hundred thousand for himself after this. So. Yeah, he's gonna be. Yeah, he would be in deeper trouble, like you're saying, yeah. if he would have paid that hundred, couple yeah. hundred thousand, because they'd have been like, well, why did you give that to that exactly. man? Exactly. Now you're a cover up. Wow, what trouble, you yeah, know? That's, keep that's your weird. nose I clean. I don't like this baseball. Like, what this, is PED? Yeah. Is that just a, a, an enhancement steroid to make you get? Uh, what do they say? Yeah, you recover. Enhancing drugs, pretty much prescription, um, you know, medicines of some sort of that's supposed to give you a, a edge. So it's not steroids, but it's oh. kind of like steroids. Do it's just different names for you know. How do you yeah. take this? Do, do they There's inject it still? There's different ways to inject them. Mm-hmm. Um, um, they In- have the rubs, you know, stuff like wow, that. Wow, rubs. Many different kinds. But of, this is you know. something how an athlete. When they get to a certain point in their career, mm-hmm. or you know, no matter what age, but they believe that the only way they can be mm-hmm. competitive is to have those exactly. pharmaceutical um, drugs to have and them at that level. Yeah, they get oh that my. pressure from different directions too. You yeah, A Rod yeah. is supposed to be the greatest, and he's he's up there in age. He's mm, up there mm, in age. Mm, and mm, same mm, thing mm. with you know with Barry Bonds. It's like all of a sudden he just beasted up out of nowhere. In a, yeah, you know, yeah, age. Yeah. So. Wow. You know, it was kind of hard on these guys. You know what I like, really like about um, my boy Derek Jeter? Yeah. He's kind of kept his nose clean. Mm, yeah. And he's always stayed in the limelight and stayed on top of his game, but exactly. yeah. you haven't heard him. You know, get into too much trouble. Exactly. You yeah, know, I'm exactly. sure he's not living a perfect life because nobody is. But it's been things that's gone under the radar and it yeah, hasn't yeah. been too dramatic. Yeah, yeah. His his ups and downs, I don't think, has anything to do with baseball. I got one. Go ahead. Remember that time he played like something hit him and he was all acting? Oh, yeah. And then he got, the guy got, you know, he got to first base or something happened. They won the game. And afterwards... It showed it never hit him. Yeah. Oh. And wow, remember, yeah. they was like he's a liar, and that only went down for a couple of weeks, and yeah, then everybody yeah. forgot about it. Yeah. It's, yeah. Small stuff, you know. Uh, that was the only thing that you can say that he, his, you know. You know okay. Yeah. It yeah, kind I mean, of messed with his character. Clean because, you know, he's not the he's not you know a home run hitter. Those guys have pressure because they strike out the most. So you you got to hit a lot of home runs. So know. what would you say would be uh, Derek Jeter's? Um, big contribution to the Yankees because it seems like he's been Mr. Yankee for so long. Yeah, Defense? He, he's been consistent, you know, with yeah. his with his number. He's a great hitter. Yeah. yeah he's yeah. one of the you know one of the great hitters and just been consistent and he's been a part of the winning third part base, of the right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Third base, shortstop. 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 He's shortstop. Right by yeah. third base, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you know, many. You know, many all-star appearances. Yeah, he's good all around. Yeah, okay. like, yeah, like, like Rodney he actually, said. I remember him, you know, when I was younger, when he came out, it was like, this guy is the next, you know. So, yeah, because he, yeah, yeah, consistent. Yeah, consistent when, when it comes yeah. to uh, RBIs and just getting hits, on base everything. hits. Yeah, pretty I wonder around, why he's so. never gotten married. Because he's been in relationships. <laughs> he just has poor yeah. choices when it comes to well, that. Well, who's going to yeah. be his baby mama? Maybe I can do that. No, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, that, if, if anything, a part of his career, that part of it is. That, that, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's well, I his know flaw. some things about him. That's, that's mm-hmm. his flaws right there. You need to have yeah. some babies, yeah. honey. Yeah. You're 36, right. 7 years too. old time. Honey, it's time, honey. Yeah, I don't know what you're waiting bad, on. He just get make bad relationship choices. Yeah, honey. It's well, in New York. A Yankee king, a king of the Yankee. Oh man, yeah. I can imagine. I yeah, can so. imagine. Okay, you know what? Let's take a commercial break. We we'll come back with some more um, sports talk. What you guys think? I'm with you. Uh, I, 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 I don't, let me see. Here. Hey, that's what we're gonna do, guys. While I'm drinking on my cocktail, and I got some more things I want to talk about. It's you know, Collins is doing a march on the Boston um, gay parade. Hey, go Boston for your gay parade. Go Collins. You know, go out there and represent. Now you can be who you want to be. We're going to talk about more about uh, being who you want to be when we come back. We got some other crazy, historical, crazy, funny things I want to tell you guys about when we come back. Cocktails. Come on. One, here comes the two to the three to the four. Here comes the tool and the piece to your door. Everybody moving, pace at the floor. I don't want no excuse for the piece to go off. 
I came to remove what you keep in your wall. So tell me where it's at and I'll be leaving you all. Don't nobody up in here act tipsy. Cause I'll bust open your head that quickly. Wait, I know you keep the drugs and the money in the safe. If I don't get that combination for a hit eight, I'ma put a combination on your face. Now here comes the five to the six to the seven. Here comes the nine and the click to your melon. I thought you was a gangster, nigga. Why is you yelling? Come to find out that was a lie. You was telling now everybody in this bitch strip naked. Cause every dollar in this bitch we taking. And every hollow in this clip gets wasted. They'll never hear you holler in this big thick face. Chick, please. Oh my God. I was never garbage, eyes was served when I first started That's why I'm Swiss first artist, first is retarded Had them in a frenzy, baby, since the jackets with the fringes, baby But now I got cheddar, so it's all about the vengeance, baby I'm in the presidential, getting Lewinsky, baby Ladies, my room got spinning bed in it And my watch look like it got lemon heads in it It's exquisite, bright like ambulance lights You couldn't get this if you spent your advance twice Dudes glance at the ice and be hot, cause my shit blinging But try plotting I'll pop, how your shit stinging, or get pissed with it, how your shit ringing, I don't fight, you get hit with the knife while your fist swinging, and all of the chicks singing, come to my hotel, I make them come when they come to the hotel, I get necked and my buddy is next, I guess cause I'm so live, chicks love me to death, I got powder, power, money, respect, you in debt, I get 20 a check, that's why I'm just laughing, I blow dough, forget stashing, cause long as I know what I know, I'ma get cashing, I got pills for sale and they not aspirin, and that's why I put the stash in the dash of the drop ass. Chick, please. I don't want to have to make you look like Swiss cheese. Please tell me where your man is keeping his keys. Has a man ever put his dad in your butt? She said no. I said no. Is that what you want? Now everybody that's a thug, get with me. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention? It's Cocktails with Tosh Walker time. Cocktails with Tosh Walker time. Your entertainment lifestyle sports show. Cocktails with Tosh Walker time. Sports for you. That's right, baby. Um, It's popping. It's cracking. You know, LA is really in trouble right now. Rodney, what's going on with the hockey? Yeah, it looks like um, the Kings were down two to zip in the first. <laughs> and, you know, the Chicago, they jumped on them quick because when I checked the score, it was two zip with like 12 minutes Screw to go. So Chicago, I'm like, it's no. going to be a long night. Long night. So the first, just the first quarter, because we have first, four. Yeah. And, and, no, and it's three. Three periods. Three only in yeah, hockey? Three Get out period. of here. Yeah, and I'm a period. sports queen. I don't even know that. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I feel embarrassed now. <laughs> um, Damn. Three periods, so. So when do we take halftime? Is halftime no, the half? That's no half time. a good question. They, they don't have like halftime. No, no, they, no. There's no halftime. They just stop in between periods. Yeah, like a. And then pause you can't go in the locker room and get patched up. Well, unless you hurt and stuff like that. But no, you stay right there in your little area mm-hmm. between um, periods, and then you get back out there. Hockey is like a fast-paced game, and um, you just go at it. For three periods and bala bing, bala boom. Yeah, because tell them who you for. That's why you're all excited. Go and tell them who well, you for. Well, you know, I've always been a Chicago Blackhawks fan for mm-hmm. some like that time, even though I haven't been on them or with them uh, for a long time because I was a, I'm back where um, Bobby Hall, um, oh, Phil, back, yeah, right. Phil Esposito was there. Them guys was, was on them. Do they have any teeth to this day? Because I know a lot of hockey lot people of lose their teeth. Well, I, well, that's a good question. Yeah, they may not. A lot of them got caps. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, um, a lot of them have caps. They just know. gumming it now, like. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of mm, fact, um, they was talking about how <laughs> one one gold Goldie um uh, almost um was killed on ice, where um it was, the the guy was skating towards him and um when he fell, his, his skate yeah his skate went up and and. <gasps> 
come across his neck. neck. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't for the trainer on, on point jumping out of there and, and holding the pressure down on his throat. Mm. He wouldn't have survived. Mm. And he's, you know, he's really going, mm. you know, he, he has a hard time mentally mm. with it. But right now, but um, yeah. hockey, hockey, hockey is a dangerous sport. Yeah, it is. Very it is. Sta- dangerous. Um, Cause that, 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 that puck is hard. And mm-hmm. they slapping, you know, with that stick that's coming over 100 miles an hour at you, and you get hit in the face yeah. or whatever. Just slash, slash, huh? Yeah. yeah. Is there any still any more African Americans in uh, yeah. hockey? Yeah. There's still yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but yeah. they're not in the playoffs right now, I guess, huh? The teams that no, I don't think no, so. No, 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 the teams no, that's out there. They're very few. It's not like they're all of them. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. But few, it's getting but better. It's getting yeah. It's it getting is a little getting better. better. I've noticed some. I'm like, whoa, that's a black dude. Yeah, yeah. Right. And that's you gotta understand, some of them might be like light skin, like your complexion. Mm-hmm. So you might. So you, you don't know, even know. You can't yeah. tell. Yeah. I'm not that light. No, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. But if you got all that. No, you. No, hold up, hold up. No, but I'm saying, but no, if you if you got all that equipment on. And mm-hmm. the only thing you can see is right. part of your face. You, can't. you, you may still know I was black now. Come on now. <laughs> I said your complexion. I ain't said nothing. You're talking about high yellow. No, I, I might be yellow. yellow red like. I'm not high <laughs> yellow though. No, I ain't saying you're high yellow. Okay. I'm just saying your complexion. You know. Yeah, light. Yeah. Light. Lighter than me. Yeah, yeah guys. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he said it, not me. He said it. Yeah. Out. People see this black out of that little with chocolate like, skin and be like, oh, that's a little African American girl. But you know what? I think it would benefit the Kings, if they had a Latino or an African American uh, hockey player, because it would bring in more of the diversity to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, do they have any Latino I, hockey I, players? I have no idea. That would change the sport right there yeah, to me. Yeah. That would be a first. Yeah, I think like so. First, yeah. yeah, because the yeah. you know I have no. You know. I've never, That's I've what's never missing. Heard of a, you know, Not even in college or. Um, this semi-pro. They probably like yeah. uh, uh, all of us. It's too damn cold out there. Damn it. Yeah. Hell no. Snow. Yeah, West Coast ice. is in ice. You know, hockey friendly. It's hockey friendly. You know. Well, uh, you know, I hate to see my boys go down and get spanked tank and lank lank. But well, it's, a lot can happen in two swept, more, so uh, that, two it, more it periods. a little better. But they got to come down back from 3-1. Yeah, Who does uh, that? Yeah. Not too many. In any sport. Speaking of um, coming down from whatever, let's get back to the Indiana Pacers and uh, my boys, uh, Miami, because I'm looking right here and they said the Heat needs more Wade. This is on Yahoo Sports. I'm looking at, you know, I have to keep up with everything on the Internet, you guys. What do you guys think about that? Does Do we need more Wade? Absolutely. They're, 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 the yeah. Heat will not win if Wade does not come alive. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with that as well. They're playing the San Antonio Spurs. Or do we need more Bosch at the per- too much Bosch at the perimeter? Do we need Bosch more that in too. the yeah. paint? The paint. Uh, yeah, exactly. Which yeah. one, if you had to choose which one we if would I need? I chose one, I would need Bosch in that paint more. Because, more, okay. Because Tim Duncan. <laughs> was gonna, wow. Enough said, Did you the greatest see Tim power Duncan? ever. Yeah, he's been giving everybody the blues. Slapping yeah. things around. Because because he knows he know Bosch is weak. He's Bosch light. Is not he's light. So you know, I mean, you know, the the word is all Tim, out on the yeah. out out in the NBA about Bosch when it comes to that. Tim Duncan so, just came from doing you know playing ball against um the Grizzlies big man. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, exactly. Hello. Right, exactly. right. He's Bottom like y'all some little Gable wimps. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You know, you got some Zebo some, some beef, beef on your back and all. You know. I have to give credit to the Birdman. The Birdman has been playing a historic yeah, role. I was telling you guys yeah. about something historic because at one time he was going for four or five for five, exactly. six for six. You know, he was really, really, really doing it. Hey, we got a caller in here. Caller, caller, what's your name and where you calling from? Caller. They hung up. Oh, caller now. I'm about to. Drink my cocktail on you now. You have me all excited now. Don't pump me up and bring me down now. <laughs> They'll call back. Call it come call back. But for sure. I am definitely um looking at the role that Tim Duncan is playing. And you know, Bosch, I think he's gonna be traded this year. You think so? <laughs> uh yeah. Yeah, hundred million hundred and eleven million dollar man. Yeah, yeah. But he could go he's to the, he's he's the odd man out. He yeah. can go to a good team. Exactly. You know? He can go to a team where he can be the man and, you know, that he could get more more um, more depth because that's what they need. Yes, they need I, a big yeah. man. 
They need a big man. They need a grizzly bear. Like if they can get a Kendrick Perkins type dude, you know, who doesn't need to do too to much, do too just much. be down there, and then everybody else yep. can just be soft. They may yeah, get Andrew because Bynum. I- if they get rid of this guy, they may be able to trade Bosch for Andrew Bynum. Well, Bynum's a free agent after this year, so. Then I would trade, uh, yeah, and clear up some salary and try to get uh, yeah. Andrew Bynum. The, if they got Andrew Bynum with LeBron James, and, you know, Bynum's cocky, he may, he may come yeah. back healthy. And then it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over. It's funny. Is that they're actually looking at Greg Oden. So he can't he stay healthy. Well. Yeah, exactly. But he would they, be the they, same be as a Bynum. Bynum. I know. would go after I'm Bynum, go after Bynum yeah. and I would have him for my future for his last yeah, whatever exactly. years. And Sign him cheap for a couple him years. and LeBron and Wade come back healthy. You yeah. can kiss the FM baby, baby. It's over. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. Ooh, that's scary. That's kind of like a little like. That would be like. Mm, yeah, I don't yeah, know about yeah. that one. Now they could play anybody. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then work work with their guards. Get their guards a little better. There's probably some guards out there you can kind of slap oh, up. Oh yeah, there's tons of them. There's tons of young guards that's mm-hmm. gonna be looking for other situations like yeah. Brandon Jennings. You know, he wants to get out of there. Well, so I'm just looking at this. Ellis rejects big exactly, offer from Bucks. Exactly. He's Monte Ellis. There. I laugh when I saw him when I saw that offer. It's like he's. What was he offer? I didn't even. I just thirty six million for three years. Oh come on! Yeah, yeah. And his, his his last year of his deal is eleven million, and so it would just extend for three more years. You know. Yeah, so, he yeah, should he be making at least fifteen million at minimum to, exactly. to to compete in his market because he's a good. He's a he's a great. He's the top five in there. Top oh, yeah. seven, easy. You know, easy. Yeah. I would say, look, Chris Paul, Darren Williams. Um, Rajon Rondo, uh, Westbrook. Um, who else can you go to? after that? You know, I mean, Tony Parker for yeah, sure. Exactly, I'm sorry, exactly. Tony Parker. Exactly, Monty Ellis. I mean, he puts up big numbers. He's just on a, a slow. Stephon Curry. Yeah. I'm just yeah. trying to think of who would be in front of him. Yeah. Um, Steph Curry, um, Derrick Rose all day. He's he's know. yeah. He's not around. We can still say yeah, Derrick yeah, Rose, but yeah, he's still. I mean, he yeah. could easily go in the top ten, easy the, the, top the tier, seven, the tier two, you know, in that second tier. Yeah, you know, top yeah. ten, top twenty guards. Mm-hmm. Well, no, easy top ten, not twenty. I would yeah. say he's in the top ten because yeah. I just named all of them almost. Pretty much. And that yeah. was only seven of them. Yeah, that is true. That's true. So, okay, we got a caller. Oh my God, caller, caller. What's your name and where you calling from, baby? Caller is calling from far, far away up in Utah. What's up? This is Benjamin. What's up, baby? Baby! Okay, break it down because, you know, we're about to wrap it up. But I want you to break it down. Um, how did you enjoy that San Antonio Spurs-Miami game? How did you enjoy it? Honestly, I don't really like the Spurs. <gasps> but LeBron does deserve to lose. If he wants to be like Jordan... He has to learn how to lose if he wants to learn how to win. He's already done that winning and losing thing. Right now, um, <laughs> you know, he's already done that. Been there, done that. You know, Dallas beat him and San Antonio's beaten him before. So he's done a lot of that right now. So you telling me you didn't enjoy the game because you was going for Miami. Well, honestly, I want to see. <laughs> I want to see if LeBron is like Jordan, if he is like Kobe. Mm-hmm. But I did enjoy LeBron losing because I really don't like LeBron and I don't like Miami. And honestly, yeah, go San Antonio, yeah. But I don't like San Antonio because they're old. They got like what Tim Duncan, thirty-seven. Come on, like. But I you know see what? Win the game. You can't give his old ass some props when he beat one of the youngest teams, <laughs> Golden State Warriors. <laughs> He beat their asses. They know how to play basketball. They know how to play ball. They know how to hoop. LeBron knows how to dunk, and that's not how you hoop. Well, I'm going to tell you something. You could talk about Tim Duncan all day. You know what I'm saying? But the boy is, is, is coming through, and he's playing. He got his big boy panties on where these other boys got them old school um, I don't want to be a champion draws on. I'm yeah, going yeah, with yeah. I, one thing. One thing I, I will say about Tim, Tim is – he 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 gets uh, those quiet points mm-hmm. before the, at the right. end of the game before you know he got twenty five you know yeah. I mean tw- um, yeah. thirty points and be like how did he get that many points exactly yeah you know, I've been watching the whole game and you know all of a sudden he got twenty five points 
Mm-hmm. Every time he makes boys. a point, though, the bank is closed. Like I don't understand. Well, man, he yeah, what? Well, uh, not all the time, because that dude he he uh, he, he keeps the bank money. alive. That yeah, bank. He's keeping it. They need to, he need to go back and watch because Tim Duncan's been giving everybody the blues. Like With I that said, bank. That bank, yeah. that bank, man. That's the old bank move. Yeah. Yep. That it's bank consistent. is never, it yeah, never yeah. closes. Mm-hmm. And he, he was dunking all on Dwight. But oh, no, man, I'm just saying, because as a, as a hooper myself, mm-hmm. like you got to aim for the back of the rim. No, you can't aim for the square. No, man. Well, no, ask Scottie Pippen because Scottie Pippen exactly. was a bank, dun- uh, yeah. bank uh, man, yeah. galore, and he's one of the top uh, Hall of Famers of all time. So exactly. I think that, you know, it's all about winning rings. I don't care if you tiptoe it in, you mm-hmm. put it off your head. I don't care how you do it. Get the damn ball in there. And people going to hate on Tim Duncan because maybe he's not the strongest, you know, person. He has a little too more finesse like a Paul Gasol, but he's a champ and he's winning. What I like about Duncan is – He's come with his finesse with this game, this particular series, last series and last series. But he's he showed me some toughness. Like exactly. I've seen him yeah. get mad, like yeah. yang, yang. like what the hell is that Tim Duncan? Tim Duncan, does, yeah. Tim Duncan has that. He has that adversity. Like honestly, it's gonna go down in history. LeBron <laughs> losing to, to to the great Tim Duncan. Like, how nice. can you beat the great? Tim Duncan and you're LeBron James. So probably after this year, LeBron might account. go on a tear. You never know. <laughs> what do you think about this? What do you think about um, Chris Bosh for Kevin Love? Honestly, Chris Bosh needs to go. He he's not playing for he's not playing for money. He's not playing for passion. He's not playing to win. Like I don't know what what do you do? You play Toronto. You play for Toronto way harder than you play for Miami, and you have these two superstars that will go hard in the paint. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're that, right. That might be the reason why he ain't going hard because he got uh, somebody else going hard. Yeah, yeah you get lazy. You're right. Yeah, yeah I ain't getting lazy. shooting threes now. Yeah, see why? <laughs> yeah, why? 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 Why should he got that attitude? Like, why should I go strong? I got two two superstars that, yeah. that that's gonna do it. Lazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to make my own. I want to yeah. make my own name. I want to be the Shizz's next. You know? Tell him, Tosh. Hey, guys. You know what? We got to wrap it up. This has been so great. That's my boy, Benjamin. He's like the bomb, you guys. Hopefully, he'll come and visit us Sipping this summer. Sipping cocktails right now. Well, you got to come out here and sip some cocktails this summer and come hang out with us in the studio. And, um... You know, and then, you know, maybe um, roll up a little something. I ain't going to say nothing else. But anyways, um, you know, um, uh, that's my boy, Benjamin. Thank you for calling in. Thank you so much. I love you. And be safe. I love you. Okay. And we need you back in the show. We need you back here at least to show your face. Okay? Yes, ma'am. ASAP. All righty, guys. All right, boy. Um, so what's going on? Um, Rodney Van, thank you so much. You're welcome. This thank has been you. a great thank show, you. guys. Um. Uh, I, I don't have any more things to say. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to say. Tomorrow's the game, you guys. Tomorrow, Sunday is the game. Miami versus Indiana Pacers. Tomorrow at 5 o'clock on ABC. You have to watch it. I'm so excited. I love it. Thank you for listening. It's Cocktails with Tosh Walker, baby. Every Saturday at 5 p.m. Drink responsibly and cheers, darling. Want you. I can't lie, and no, I won't front you Yeah, I need you badly, I think you need me too You don't wanna drink, let's go smoke a blunt or two You don't wanna think, I blow your mind up. And every time you see me, we can press rewind too If you go no, then I go no on you Not to anybody, it's just you my main boo Can you dig it, I could dig it times two Everybody knows it's about me and you Love it, hate it, like it, life it Whatever you do, just don't make me I just need your touch I just need your love